Hi everyone! So we are one third of the way through our 20 days of Harry Potter celebration. How's it going? Well, it's 10 o'clock on a Tuesday night and I'm trying to get videos out. I don't know where my brain was, but I thought that this was a good idea. It is. I'm having awesome fun making all these recipes, but blogging and YouTube and trying to balance that with a full-time job? Obviously, I didn't think that one through. Today, though, we are making cockroach clusters. Now, from what I've read, cockroach clusters probably was inspired by peanut clusters, which if you're just making those, melt some milk chocolate, pour them over some roasted peanuts, give them a stir, drop them onto a baking paper lined tray, let those chill, and that's what you've got. Cockroach clusters though, I thought, let's do something a little bit cooler. Now, if you take a look at that, this looks like one of our cockroaches here in Australia, I swear. I've always been afraid that I'm gonna stick my hand in a bag of dates and come out not touching a date. Obviously, I've been traumatized by the cockroaches and bugs here in Australia. These ones, fortunately, are a little tastier. I think. I hope. I haven't tried cockroaches, so I'm just gonna make the assumption here. So these are pitted dates. They've been halved. They've been filled with a caramel slash walnut mixture and cooled. And you can make a full jar of these to make your own cockroach clusters. So to make this, you're going to need one cup white sugar, one cup thickened cream, half a cup of glucose syrup, half a cup of evaporated milk, half a cup of brown sugar, one cup walnuts, 115 grams of butter, one teaspoon vanilla essence, approximately 60 pitted dates. So to start, we're gonna take time to open up each pitted date and split them in half and set those aside on a baking tray. In the saucepan, stir together over medium heat the butter, evaporated milk, brown sugar, white sugar, thickened cream, glucose syrup. Now give that a stir until the butter's melted. Then you're gonna pop in a candy thermometer and let that cook until the temperature reaches 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Now just take note, this usually takes about half an hour, sometimes a little bit longer. So lots of patience with this recipe. So while this is cooking, grab your walnuts, pop those into a plastic sandwich bag and roughly crush that with a rolling pin. Once the caramel reaches 250 degrees Fahrenheit, remove that from the heat, stir in the vanilla, then pour over the walnut pieces in a bowl. Give that a good stir, then let that cool for a few minutes, then pop on your candy making gloves. You're gonna take a date half in one hand and grab some of the walnut caramel mixture in the other gloved hand and press that into the date half. Mold that so it's stuck really well to it, then place that back onto the baking tray and repeat with the other 60 dates. Let that cool, then serve as part of your Harry Potter party. So I hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. I've got a lot more. Next week is all honeydukes pretty much. I've got a few baked goods for the rest of this week. If you're on Instagram, pop on to see my Insta stories. So that's where on the profile, if you see those colored rings around the profiles, it means that there is an Insta story behind that. If you give that a click, usually on my weekends, you can see what I'm working on behind the scenes. Uh, Cause that's when I'm doing a lot of my work is either on the weekends or my evenings. And you can kind of see where I'm up to. And I hope you guys enjoy that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.